Hi! Come and watch as I demonstrate for you my clean and simple and glittery Christmas card using the wonderful Stampin' Up! Star of Light stamp set and coordinating Starlight Thinlit Styes. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 15 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. And so my original card design, I used the copper foil sheets, and it turned out really pretty. And then I got out my real red glitter embossing powder, and oh, it is fabulous. But stick around at the end because I'm going to show you my card in the copper, gold, and silver foil sheets so you can compare and decide which one you like best. So here we have the Star of Light stamp set with several faith-based Christmas greetings and sentiments. And then my favorite stamp, I'm calling this a Stardust Vapor Trail. I just love that. And then the coordinating Starlight Thinless dies with some beautiful intricate dies. And so when you order these two together using the special bundle item number I have listed on the screen, you'll save 10% on both. And of course you want both of them. So we're going to start with some die cutting. Remember I told you I was going to use the Real Red Glow glitter embossing powder and I thought ooh wouldn't it be pretty to have a star die cut in the red glimmer paper and so we're going to do that with the solid star and then over top we're going to use this beautiful die look at all that detail in white and so I got thinking about it and I thought boy I could use the fine tip glue pen but and I was a little concerned how well it would stick to the glimmer paper and so then I had this idea Stampin' Up! used to carry these Sizzix adhesive sheets, and they're permanent. I thought, hmm, that could make life really easy. So I have here some Whisper White Thick cardstock. I thought I'd like the body of the thick and over just the Whisper White. And so what we're going to do is peel this off. This is just the backing. And place this right on here. And so we're going to make our own sticker is what we're going to do, but a sticker that sticks really well. And so we're going to die cut from this side. All right, so let me grab my Big Shot. So I have my Big Shot die cutting machine and my Big Shot platform. And because I'm die cutting thin metal dies, I need my thin die adapter. And so we're building what's called a sandwich. So the next piece to our sandwich, well, I have a cutting pad. Okay, so now our paper, my red glimmer paper, and then my star die. You can see there's a difference on the other side that raised. That's the cutting edge. So we're going to put that down. Okay, and then to finish our sandwich, another cutting pad. All four of the pieces, you know, the Big Shot platform, the th thin die adapter, and the two cutting pads, all come with the purchase of a Big Shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and crank this through. Okay, and so then you get your die cut star. You just got to love how fast that is and how easy too. So now we're going to change our sandwich a little bit. We're going to use again the Big Shot platform in the thin die adapter, but this time instead of the cutting pad, we're going to use precision base plate. You use this when you use the intricate thinlets dies. It cuts through them like butter. Okay, so the writing side goes down. And then we need our cardstock. And remember, we just put the Sizzix adhesive sheets on the back of that. And, um, you know, like I said, Stamp Up used to carry them, but I did find them on Amazon. And I'll have a link for you to be able to find those, okay, underneath the video. All right, so then, again, here we have the cutting side. We're going to put that down. And I can see the stickers on the back. Okay. And then to finish our sandwich, a cutting pad. The precision base plate, that's an additional purchase, but worth every penny. You really want that. So we're going to crank this through. Okay. And then I just like to back it up and go through twice. So let's see what we have. This is really a lot of fun. I'm going to grab my Big Shot die brush. This helps get out all the little intricate pieces and gets it out of there, and it comes with this foam mat, and run it over it. Okay, so it's already coming out of here real easily. Look at that. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at this. You're starting to see how pretty and intricate it is. And then all these pieces, they just start falling out. Okay, might need a little bit of help. There we go. 
and I could run my brush over it a little bit more to encourage it. Now remember I've got some adhesive on there. Look at that. These are cute little hearts. I'm thinking this would be a fun to use on another project. All these little... And um, look at how they're popping out. That big shot um, precision base plate. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. And then if you had my paper piercing tool, I could really, but look, they're just coming out even without the paper piercing tool. Okay, what I want to show you is, after I get all of those out, actually I didn't even have to do all that. I forgot to show you something. This is really cool. Once you get it started, look, we're going to peel off the backing. And if I hadn't picked all those out, a lot of them would have come with this. But they were coming out so nice, I just couldn't help myself. Okay. And so we're going to peel that off. I'm not going to jerk and go real fast. There we go. So now I have complete adhesive on here. So let's bring back our red glimmer paper star. And look how gorgeous this is right over top. And press that on. Love it, love it, love it. And how gorgeous! So we have our beautiful die cut star. So let's go ahead and just press everywhere to make sure we have a good hold. Okay, so we can set aside our gorgeous card. And then my clean and simple card, the card base is going to be Whisper White Thick Cardstock. And so I have here a piece of Whisper White Cardstock. And just looking at them, you don't see a difference because they both have that great finish that takes ink really well. But here's the difference. This is heavier and look, sturdier. So my preference and recommendation whenever I want Whisper White cardstock for the card base is the thick. Okay, so I like to stamp flat, so I'm going to open this up. And then underneath me, I have a stamp and pierce mat. I'm going to have that because I'm using the photopolymer stamp set, and it just gives me a really good stamped image. Okay, so we're going to emboss. So before I do any stamping, I have my embossing buddy. And we're going to rub this over the entire card front because we want the embossing powder to stick to the wet ink and not the oil in my fingerprints. So I have here a Versamark stamp pad. This is a permanent ink, it's a pigment ink, and so it stays wet longer to give us time to um, sprinkle on the embossing powder and melt it. So I've got here the my Stardust Vapor Trail. So let's ink this up. Great. It doesn't look like much of anything. We got clear ink. <laughs> okay, so I go ahead. And I'm hoping to get it centered from side to side. I really do like to hover over when I'm stamping, but then, you know, you'll get the back of my head. So we're going to, thinking that's pretty good. So I'm just pressing everywhere because I definitely want every bit of my Stardust Vapor Trail. <laughs> okay, nice. And then we're going to go ahead and do the sentiment too. I'm using the Star of Wonder, Star of Night. So I need the Versamark again. Ink this up. And you're going to be really impressed with how well you can read the greeting in the red glitter embossing powder. I thought, oh, you know, it'll be coarse. Mm -mm -mm. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And so I know I want to come down over here. Make sure my cardstock's straight. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, and stamp. All right, again, I want that good coverage. Okay, so now we're ready for our red glitter stamping powder. <laughs> All right, and so I have a paper plate to catch the excess for me. This is my favorite part of embossing, is watching it stick. I just feel like this is the magic part. It sticks to my stamped image. Wow. All right. Oh, there we go. I'm like, whew, boy. Just need a little bit extra of a shake. And so you know how glitter is. It just wants to go everywhere. So I've just got a, a paintbrush. We're going to get off any extra. Okay. Now we're ready to melt it. I'm going to use the heat tool. That is looking really good. I'm wanting to get it off just in case it isn't just glitter, okay? Because I don't, I don't want red spots all over. 
And so what I have here is the heat tool. And the first setting is for drying ink. And then the second is for melting your embossing powder. So I'm going to go ahead. And right now it's just powdery, but it's going to get shiny as it melts. And then as soon as I see it, it melts, I move on. So I don't want to burn my cardstock. There it goes. This is just absolutely stunning. Something you really will enjoy using. Okay, now let's come over here to our, our greeting. Can you believe how well you can read this? It's a very, very fine glitter, and boy does it sparkle. There we go. Do you see it? I don't know if you can see that. It's going from powdery to shiny. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So what I, what I always do is, I like to turn on the light and see that I got, oh, I can see that I got all of it. Because if I see anything that's powdery, I can always go back and still finish it. All right, so look, that's a little bit warped, but you know what, we can fix that. We're gonna take, since it warped from heating it on the other side, we're just gonna add some heat to this side. And that'll really help straighten that out. Let's have a look. Okay, isn't this gorgeous? So now we get to add our star. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful star. So here we go. Here's our placement. Look at how it's gonna nestle in right there. And so I'm going to adhere this with Stampin' Dimensionals. So a very easy card, but isn't it stunning? And and wait till you see the glitter in, in, real, in real life, right? Get some of that. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, fantastic. So we got a couple Stampin' Dimensionals. Here we go. Press this on. So I'm looking for that placement right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And really, how simple was that? Okay, so now we're going to finish the inside and at our another greeting. Now when I did the first one, I did the rest of the greeting that says guide us to the perfect light in black. And as I'm looking at it, well, I'll just show you. I did black. I'm really thinking I'm gonna prefer real red, keeping it all coordinated. So push, flip, lock that lid into place. That's a real red classic stamping pad. So we're gonna go ahead and ink this up. And then stamp. And then I did add a little something something. These are also from the same stamp set, the Star of Light stamp set. We're gonna add a little bit right there, dress that up a little bit. And there we have our clean and simple Star of Light card with the real red uh, glitter embossing powder. Gorgeous. I promised to show you my Star of Light card in the three metallic foil sheets. So I have here the first one, the copper foil sheets with the copper embossing powder. Isn't that pretty? And then we have the silver foil sheets with the silver embossing powder. Very pretty too. And then the gold foil sheets with the gold embossing powder. And then of course the one that we just did, the red glimmer paper with the real red glitter embossing powder. So you'll have to tell me which one of these is your favorite. All the supplies to make my glittery clean and simple Star of Light card are listed under the video and available to order in my online store www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.